Hello and welcome everybody to the Bearcat Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. We come to Kearney, Nebraska this evening to bring you the matchup of the night, the Lincoln East Spartans and the Kearney High School Bearcats. There's been a lot of anticipation from this matchup, Asher. They postponed it from last Friday. And what are you, what are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Uh, I'm looking forward to the, the two-man team of the Lincoln East Spartans between Carter Mick and Connor Johnson. And then that trio that we've seen all season, I wish I could see it more. Ben Johnson, Jacob Weber, Asher Endorf. It has been an incredible trio to watch. Just an absolute treat for the fans. They get the crowd going, they get the highlights, and they get the points racked up. Now coming into this matchup though, starting first for the Lincoln East Spartans. They come into this four and five on the year. Yeah, kind of a disappointing season for the Spartans. Looking to turn it around here tonight against the Bearcats. Now what you're gonna see from the Spartan offense to start it off, they wanna win these games on defense. Try and be physical. They aren't gonna shoot a lot of three pointers. They're gonna try and get the ball in the post, try and get that and one. Yeah, and we've seen a lot, uh, a lot of teams try to stop the Bearcats on defense this year. That offense for the, for the Cats has just been overwhelming at times. We've seen it at home, we've seen it at way, away, and especially if they get hot from the three point line, look out. Oh, 100%, your Kearney High Bearcats though, coming in at seven and three on the year. Losses to Omaha Westside, Miller North, and Lincoln Southeast, all good games. Yeah, some really tough losses there, especially to Westside and Southeast, really close. And we had leads in those games. I mean, look for the Bearcats down the stretch. They have a, they have a stretch of a few easier games, and then they have right back up to tough games. Look for them to, to rack up some wins here before districts. And talking to Coach Veronic, we know one thing and one thing that is. They want that ball in the hands of Ben Johnson or Jacob Weber. Yeah, and we've seen it the last three years with Ben Johnson. Coach Veronic has had trust in his players and trust in his guard, Johnson. Look, look for him to be making plays tonight. Expect for the Bearcats to come out in that full court press because they want that ball. They want to try and not let Lincoln East breathe here in this tough road environment here at Kearney High. Yeah, a lot of fans here tonight. And you say it, yeah, just that defense can be suffocating at times. No way around it. And we talk about the, three, the, the trio of Ben Johnson, Jacob Weber, Asher Endorf. We're not even talking about Carter Lee. Lockdown defender, pass first mentality. That's what you want in a point guard. Oh yeah, and Carter Lee, he plays with about as much heart as you could ask for. He is a great player, dynamic, gets the crowd excited and on their feet. You can't ask for a better point guard. Him and Colt Straka, they will be running the point guard, shooting guard to start tonight's game. But right here before starting lineups, Another thing, looking at stats, Carney High averaging 70 points a game, whereas Lincoln East only averaging 50. Yeah, and again, it goes back to your what you mentioned about Lincoln East winning the game on defense. They need to stop that Bearcat offense if they want to have a chance in this game. They want that slow pace offense. They're going to use all 35 seconds of the shot clock, which for our sake as announcers, that's not gonna be fun. There's gonna be a lot of ball movement, there's gonna be a lot of passing, and a lot of driving to the lane from the Spartans. But with that being said, I'm gonna kick it over to Hewitt. I called the girls game, Hewitt, you're in charge of the boys game, starting lineups here in Kearney. As we get set to tip here, we'll go, th we'll go through starting lineups a real, real quick before the the anthem uh, for the Spartans. We have Quinn Weatherholt, Connor Johnson, Jang Dak, Luke Lidquist, and Carter Mick. And for your Carney High Bearcats, we have number zero, Carter Lee, number two, Colt Shaka, number three, Jacob Weber, number 11, Asher Endorf, and number 44, Ben Johnson. Now we will be back, we'll take a short break. We'll cut our mics for a 
can't think of the name. <laughs> the national anthem. Welcome back to the Bearcat Sports Network. We're getting ready for tip. We went through the starting lineups a little too quickly, but you know, we didn't know that they would play the national anthem because <laughs> usually they don't. But we are here at Kearney High School. Tonight's matchup, Kearney High Bearcats versus the Lincoln East Spartans. Traveled on I-80 to get here. Good crowd. Great crowd, great home crowd tonight. I would 100% agree, a good home crowd on a Tuesday night. Yep, got the pep band back in the house. You know it's a great day when the band's here as well. As good. now we have our hype video playing on our two video boards on the east and west side of the Kearney High Gymnasium. Then we'll get to your starters for the Kearney High School Bearcats. We already set them, but sooner they get through those starters, sooner we are to opening tip. Yeah, and this starting crew has been the same uh, throughout the season for Baronic. Do you see them making any changes to that? I think everyone's played really well. The only way I could see him actively make a change in this lineup is if an injury happens. Yeah, that would be really unfortunate. As the Bearcats, they've got some depth on their roster, but not as deep as uh, some teams, you know, as like some of the top teams like Bell West. So hopefully no injuries, everyone can stay healthy. I will say though, maybe a fan favorite, maybe a favorite for me, I would love to see Ian Piper hop into the starting lineup. Ian Piper is definitely one of the fan favorites. As we are getting ready for opening tips, starting lineup will be announced for the Kearney High Bearcats. Previously mentioned by Hewitt, Carter Lee, Colt Straka, Jacob Weber, the D1 transfer from Arizona. He can't have the hot hands from behind the three-point line. We have come to find that out. Then Asher Endorf trying to look to get it done inside. He's averaging 14.6 a game. And then number 44, the engine of this Carney High team, Ben Johnson. Yeah. And it's just a treat to get to watch Ben Johnson play. Just a dominant force in the paint, around the arc, beyond the arc. I mean, he can do it all. I would 100% agree as we are getting ready for opening tip here in Kearney. I'm guessing if I, if I can remember correctly, it will be Ben Johnson to take the tip for the Bearcats. We have a really cool camera angle. We have our very own Ryan Dawkey sitting in the middle of the fans right here in front of us. You can't see where we're pointing, but right in front of our main camera, we're on our side camera right now, but on our main camera, we'll switch back over here and I'm gonna hand it off to Hewitt. As we get set to tip here, Jang Dak for the, for the Spartans, Ben Johnson for the Bearcats, and the tip is won by Johnson. Great elevation there as Lee takes it down the court. Over to Endorf, Endorf, Endorf to Weber. Weber takes it back over to Lee. Lee, ooh, and it is tipped out of bounds, and it's gonna be Spartan basketball. Fast-paced play to start the game, though, and we're only 12 seconds in. 
going to be Carter Mick for the Spartans, running most of this offense as he's looking to get past Straka here. Strzok, Mick over to Johnson. Carter Mick averaging 19.2 points per game. Heart and soul of this Lincoln East team. Back over now to Johnson. Johnson driving inside, off the window. No good, but Mick with the rebound, driving through the lane and spins it home as the Spartans draw first blood. Quick offense for the Cats now. Ben looking, kicks it over to Lee. Lee trying to drive underneath. And Straka just not able to connect there. The easy up and in. Spartans moving a little bit quick here. They're not and doing what we said on the game yeah, plan. <laughs> Weatherholt looked like it was going to be a block, but caught Weber on the foul here. Maybe the energy of tonight's contest with the postponement, the, the anxious nerves. Because yeah. according to Jeff Campbell, they were playing slow. As Weatherholt misses his first. Bearcats, look, they look a little nervous here to play here at the start of this contest. It always takes them a little bit to get warmed up here. I will say, they do start slow. In and out, and it's rebounded by Johnson. Johnson dumps it off to Weber. Weber looking to run the point. Gets it back over to Johnson. Johnson to Endorf. Back over to Weber. Weber looks to shoot. Decides not to take it. Contested shot by Weber. Turn around, and he's got it. Count the bucket. Oh, my Jacob goodness. Jacob Weber. Oh, my goodness. What a play. You talk about a D1 athlete. That is right there. I was wondering what he was doing, just hucking up a mid-range. All of a sudden, he laced it. He makes those. You aren't the best shooter in Arizona for a reason. As... As they're gonna call. That will be a foul on the Spartans. That is number 15. Lindquist, let's see right here. There's that There's made that. basket by Weber. Lee looks to inbound the ball. Over to Weber, Weber, deep three, in and out. But Shaka with an offensive rebound there. Gets it over to Lee, Lee in the corner. Brings it back around, over to Johnson. Johnson back to Lee. Lee looks to fire the three ball. No good. But another offensive rebound by the Cats. It did not hit the shot clock though, or the rim. The shot clock will not reset. 15 Johnson left. Tried to mid range. They're gonna call another foul on the floor. That one looks like it's gonna be on, I believe, it's gonna be Connor Johnson, his first. There is a little something to worry about. We're two minutes, we're not even two minutes in. We're a minute and 50 in, and the Spartans already have three fouls in yeah. the quarter. Five fouls, Bearcats go to the line shooting two. As Ian Piper checks into the game, Weber looking to make something happen, spins inside, and he adds to the Bearcat lead, four to two. Jacob Weber doing it all early. As they get, the Lincoln East Spartans look to get something on Offense right now, it's Lindquist over to Mick in the corner and Carter Mick. He is one of the best scorers in Class A, drills the three pointer. Inside now, oh, on the ground. Johnson goes up with it, can't find it. Fast paced play to start the game here. As that just, he just shook Johnson off of him inside. Misses the easy up and in. Ben with the defensive rebound. Looks to bring it back. Bearcats look to slow it down a little bit here. Oh, and miscommunication. Piper and Weber as they throw it away there. That'll be a turnover. The defense of the Spartans is showing its dominance here early in Kearney. Yeah, really able to kind of catch the Bearcats. A little confused early as Carter checks in for... Straka. Carter Lee, lockdown defender. Mentioned in our little pregame show. Over to Weatherholt to Dak. Dak looking. Kicks it back over to Lindquist, to Mick, and Piper with a steal. Back 
to Weber now on the offensive end of the floor. Over to Johnson, Johnson to Endorf. Back to Johnson. Trying to find some kind of opening in this defense. Back to Johnson, Johnson looks to drive. Steps back from the mid range, can't find it. Rebounded by East. That's a matchup we're gonna see all night. Ben Johnson versus Jang Dak. Yep, and there's gonna be a foul there. Looks like it's gonna be Endorf's number, his first foul. On the floor, team's second foul for the Bearcats. 5 fouls already and we're only 3 minutes and 30 in. Yep. Weatherholt to inbound to Dak, back to Weatherholt. Weatherholt dumps it back over to Mick. Mick trying to find an opening guarded by Endorf. Weatherholt now he tries to drive. Piper, another good defensive stop there, making his presence known early. Spartans are going to have 23 seconds to shoot on the inbounds. Mick to inbound. Gets it over to Johnson. Johnson over to Weatherholt. Weatherholt on the drive. Spinning. And he's got another mid-range. 7-4 Spartans. They want to win it inside the Spartans. Dude, is that skip pass over to Endor? Gets denied at the rip. Yeah, that was a great block there by the Spartans as Mick goes to drive in. And he gets it to fall. We got a stoppage in play here. That will foul. be a foul on Mick. Yep. Kind of want to see what happened. I think he got tied up a little bit with uh, Jacob Weber after the make on that bucket. Yeah. Piper to inbound to Lee now. Bearcats looked a little just out of system these last couple possessions here. Johnson on the drive. Gets it over to Turner for Tran. Big Turner for Tran for two. The people's, the fan favorite Turner for Tran. As that three ball is up and good. Rebounded by Piper. Bearcats, they want to push pace up to Weber now. Weber thought about the three. Weber over to Piper, over to Johnson. Johnson over to Lee. Lee puts up the three, and he's got it. That low arcing shot works every like a charm. Tie game here in Kearney. Great shot by Lee there. He's a sneaky good shooter. He doesn't shoot a whole lot, but he can make them. He doesn't shoot it very often either with that pass first mentality as that is up and almost good. Rimmed around the entire basket. You said it as Weber puts up a three. What a shot by Weber. Weber's got seven on the night already. We're only six minutes in. Yeah, Weber's catch and shoot ability. It's just been incredible as Larson now for the Spartans subbed in earlier. I forgot to mention him subbing in. Luke Larson as they get it over. And Eli Barton also in the game now for the Spartans. But Johnson with the ball on the drive. Tipped away. And that's going to be a foul. That's going to send Barton to the line shooting two. That's going to be Turner's first foul as well. Carter Mick, he has seven of the nine Lincoln East points right now. He is going to have to try and carry, try and lift his Spartans over the finish line here in Kearney as that first one is up and good. Gives these players and me, myself, a little bit of a break from the action. Been back and forth quickly, fast-paced basketball from both teams. I'm still shocked that they said they'd use the entire shot clock and they've yet to gone under 15. <laughs> As that first, that second one yeah. almost missed the rim entirely. Yeah, not a dead ball, not quite an air ball, but not air a great ball, shot. Air ball free throw is something you don't see very frequently as that skip pass by Carter Lee will fall out of bounds. Weber unhappy, he thought he got held. and Yeah, just another miscommunication and another turnover by the Bearcats as it will be Johnson bringing the ball up the court for the Spartans. Johnson, now over to Lin, or not, Lin no, not Lindquist, excuse me, back over to Johnson. Over to Larson, Larson now over to Mick, the other Mick. 
two mix on this team, two different grades too. As Dak pulls the three, can't find it. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson looking to push pace, gets it to Lee, gets it to Weber. Weber looking to shoot. Oh my goodness! Did he just do that? A great catch. And his catch and shoot ability has got to be one of the best in the state. This is incredible. Replay, please. That acrobatic heave just somehow <laughs> hits the net. As the Spartans look to answer. Gets it over. Puts up the three. No good. Rebounded by. Oh, they get it over to Weber again. Oh, just missing. More than this just a miss. This, <laughs> this is incredible. It's really fast paced. As back over to Dak, Dak over to Barton, Barton over to, to Mick. That is Tyler Mick in the game right now. As Larson spinning, not able to quite get it, and there's gonna be a foul. As that is Carter <laughs> Johnson's second. That's their fourth foul of the quarter. 50 seconds left. I will say though, for a team that doesn't shoot a lot of threes, they just seem to be hucking them up. <laughs> Trying to match that Bearcat offense as Carter Mix subs back into the game. Johnson looking to bring it down now for the Cats. Hands off to Piper. Piper brings it around, gets it over to Weber. Weber, mid-range, not quite. And it is rebounded by Weatherholt. Weatherholt over to Mick. Shot clock and game clock are even but somehow it's, the shot clock is still on. Mick waiting at the top, trying to make something happen, maximizing this possession, crucial for the Spartans. They get it back to Mick, the top, 12 to shoot now. As he drives through a flurry of Bearcats, seven seconds left, they get it to Johnson. Johnson looking to do something on the drive, and that's gonna be knocked out of bounds. Johnson looking for a foul. He's not gonna get it. Exciting, exciting stuff here early. 15 to 13. You are watching the Bearcat Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. As we have a little replay package going on here, Jacob Weber, his acrobatic shooting, that mid-range here to start the game. What a shot. Then that kick into Turner Bertrand, fan favorite, certainly yeah. my favorite. Then the Carter Lee low arc three ball, that's up and in. We love to see it. Then Jacob Weber catch and shoot. That is good. Really good shooter. Aren't You aren't the best shooter from Arizona. There's another catch and shoot. Somehow hits the rim and goes in. As you're watching the Bearcats Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Carney leads the Lincoln East Spartans 15 to 13. Carney, Nebraska, you're watching the Bearcat Sports Network, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Great first quarter of action here. Oh, 100%, 15 to 13, a little closer than most people would think. As in for the Spartans now, we have Larson, Weatherholt, Mick, oh, we had a new sub, it is Hudson Drew, and Eli Barton, as they get it over to Drew now. Drew over to Mick. Mick out to Lindquist, he puts up the three. Bang, he's got it. Spartans take the lead by one here at the start of the quarter as that is just out of reach of Asher Endorf. Another turnover there, just caught going a little too fast there. Weber to Endorf. That would have been a slam for sure if Asher Endorf caught that ball. Yeah, for sure. Mick now. Brings it up the court, gets it over to Barton. Barton to Lindquist. Lindquist finds the mid-range. He's coming out firing out of the quarter. We got a game in on our hands here in Kearney. Ben Johnson, top of the key, three ball, no good, rims in and out. Wow, Ben Johnson 
looking to find that three, not quite able to find it. We've seen him hit that shot so many times here before. Ben Johnson has been quiet to start the game though. He has been held scoreless through a quarter of basketball. And that's what you want to see if you're East. 100%, but right now, the ball is in the hand, hands of Jacob Weber right now. Can't seem to miss. Yeah. Oh, yeah, picking up the slack for sure as Weatherholt finds another shot from the mid-range. He is on fire right now as Johnson looks to drive, kicks it over to Endorf. Endorf up and under, can't find it. And he second, second effort and gets it to fall. Goes up once, no luck. Goes up twice, gets it to fall. It's what I preach, offensive rebounds is how you win basketball games. As oh, for sure. Carter Mick finds it on the finger roll, gets it to fall 22-17. Bearcats find, them, find themselves down five. Largest deficit of the night. Johnson. Deep three by Johnson. Oh! Bang. There he goes. He's got it. Now, that's dangerous now. Johnson sees that ball go in once, and look out, because he's going to start shooting, and he's going to start making them. That was some Steph Curry range. If I've ever seen it, he was practically out of bounds when he shot that. That is incredible. Incredible shooting by the junior as Barton looks to drive inside on Johnson and he gets it to go with the right hand. They are working the ball inside and it is just working. They are using their height advantage. Just Bearcats, they don't have a whole lot of height out on the court. The tallest player is Asher Endorf. Let's check a replay here. Oh, yeah. But that will be a Lincoln East timeout. We're gonna go to break here. and welcome back to the Bearcat Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank as we get set for more second quarter action here. Two point game, one point game. They, whoa. I think, I think that was one of the things they were trying to figure out in the break. They got rid of a three pointer because his foot was on the line because thank you to the Lincoln East stats people because now the Bearcats are only down by one. Yeah, just, they check that every every once in a while. It's weird without replay, as Endorf denied Mick. That was incredible, and it's stolen away now by, by Weatherholt. What a turn of events, the swap by Endorf, then stolen back. Yeah, Bearcats just being a little bit careless with the basketball right now, as Lindquist Gets it back over to Mick. Mick to Grew. Bearcats scrambling on defense. Barton's looking to make something happen. Lindquist from the mid-range. Short. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson looks to slow it down. Halfway through this second quarter here in Kearney. 22-23. We got a game on our hands. As there's going to be a travel called. Carter does not look too happy. I will say the Bearcats, they, usually they're a very clean team when it comes to turnovers. Tonight, they're already at seven turnovers on the night and we are 12 minutes in. Yeah, they've just been really careless with the basketball. Expect for Baronic to make some changes and talk to the team. He's really good about making adjustments. One of the great coaches. As Barton's looking now, this is, Grew inside, and it is going to be Bearcat basketball after kind of a scramble for the ball right there. The hustle by Piper, knock it out, and then save it into Turner Bertrand. Then it finally falls out of bounds off of Hudson Grew. Yeah, just a kind of a scramble under the hoop there as Johnson brings it up the court now for the Bearcats. Over to Weber now. Weber surveying the defense. Weber going to run the point guard now because Carter Lee's sitting on the bench. Yeah, gets it over to Weber now. Weber on the drive, kicks it over to Endorf. Endorf 
and he's gonna draw a foul, and that's gonna be Lowell. Jack Lowell for the Bearcats. It's gonna be, it's gonna be his first foul, and the team's first. Piper gets it over to Weber. Weber puts up a three. No good. Almost getting his own rebound as Mick looks to push the pace. Mick on the drive. Pulls up from the three-point line. No, not quite. Lindquist on the rebound. Swatted by Turner Bertrand. Now Ben Johnson pushing pace. Finds Weber. Wide open Weber. You don't want to do that. Nobody misses it. What a hustle play by Turner Bertrand to pass it off to Ben Johnson. Great play there by the Bearcats. Kind of out of system. Able to make it work and find Ben for two. Jacob ben. Weber has cooled off, though, here in this second quarter. Yeah, Ben's starting to heat up, though. When one of those three players you mentioned, and Endorf, Johnson, and Weber, when one of them is slowing down, it seems like the other two start to pick up the pace as that three is off the mark. The second chance points for the Spartans is paying out in their favor. As they get it back over to Gru. Gru on the drive, driving in, not quite. Physical rebound by Bertrand. And that will be a foul. It's gonna be a foul on O'Neal. Or, excuse me, it's gonna be on Gru. There were two people in the vicinity of Ben Johnson, but you know, hard to tell in our pace. Good thing we have our video boards to tell us who <laughs> actually got, who's actually, picking who's up the actually on. As Lee gets the inbound. Looks to run the point, gets it over to Weber now. Weber to Johnson. Johnson surveying the defense. Gets it over to Endorf. Endorf to Lee in the corner. Back over to Johnson. Johnson takes a dribble. Gets it back over to Lee. Lee to Endorf. Endorf on the drive. Looks it, lays it up and in with the right hand. Great shot by the, the senior. Largest lead of the night for the Bearcats. Three point lead, that is a Rare occasion to have a three-point lead for the Bearcats, averaging 70 a game. Yeah, as good defense there by Endorf. And great save there by Johnson. 10 on the shot clock though. Lincoln East out of system. Yeah, just trying to find something. And that was just kind of an off-balance shot there. I will the say Spartans. though. Turner Bertrand is dominating the boards. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That looked to be a pass to Bertrand. It was a pass to Bertrand and he just made it. Oh my goodness. Can we see, can we see a replay of that? Replay of that, please. Our Strive crew. And the good thing is we have it on the boards too. So everyone here can let's, see let's, the replay. Let's take a look here. Because Johnson gets it over to Lee, and Lee just, he tucks it up for... <laughs> it was a swish, too. <laughs> That's oh, a my goodness. Shot. That's funny. As Lee and East gets ready to restart play, down by six here with 130 left here in the second quarter. A rarity. That's incredible. As Lindquist pulls the three, no good. But Dak with the offensive rebound. Bertrand, great defense there as they put the floater. No good. Powerful rebound by Johnson. Johnson to Lee, looking to push the pace. Back over to Johnson. Resets now. Johnson brings it to the near side. Back over to Piper. Johnson with a deep three. Bang! He's got it! Ben Johnson! And that's his eighth point of the contest. Starting to heat up here in the second quarter. Bearcats lead is nine with 45 left, 25 on the shot clock. And just in a blink of an eye, the Bearcats starting to pull away, and that's gonna be a foul. They're gonna call it on the floor on Turner Bertrand. That is his second foul. I will say though, Turner Bertrand, he has gotten more minutes in this contest. You wanna know why? He's dominating the offensive boards and Mr. Not Mr. Head Coach Drake Veronic, we are not in school. We are out of school. Head coach Drake Vronick is just letting it ride. Yeah, and he's been playing great defense inside and not drawing a lot of fouls. I mean, he's got two, but the way he's been playing physically, he's really staying pretty clean. As 
It's Lindquist at the top of the key. Over to Mick now. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Back over to uh, Larson. Larson looking, gets it over now to Lindquist. Bearcats look gassed on defense. Dak inside, not quite. Lindquist on the rebound. Shot clock's off. I believe I've made a mistake. I believe I've been calling Weatherholtz Lindquist this whole time. As Lindquist, or Weatherholt is number four. Weatherholt has been on fire. When you do announcing though, you want to know a little trick of the trade, you know? You don't admit your mistake. Eh. If you're on the radio, no one knows the difference. But the bad thing is we're not on the radio. Because so we have a camera. Team. Everyone knows my distance. I apologize to Quinn Weatherholt as he goes to the bench. He's been playing great. We will give you quarter. a little credit, though. This is your first time play-by-play. -play. This is my first time. You I'm have been a color man for me. I'm still, I'm still a beginner at, th at this. As that it shot is no good, Carter Lee, four seconds on the clock. Colt Strzok, a two, it. one. B Johnson, Johnson. Huck. He got Buzzer it off in time. Ben it's good! Buzzer oh, beater. my gosh! Ben Johnson! for three at the buzzer. And he's gonna push the lead to 11 going into halftime. As that, we want a replay of that. As we will get the replay. Ben Johnson, Johnson buzzer beater, up. three. Got That's good. Incredible play. Incredible first half of basketball. Oh my goodness. This has been a great game so far. Bearcats with a late flurry there going into halftime. As we have a little replay package, there's the layup, or the no good layup, then rebound by Asher Endorf, the offensive rebounds, the second chance point there, and Mix gets swatted by Asher Endorf. Then Ben Johnson pushing the pace, and then we have Turner Bertrand skip pass over to Ben Johnson for the easy lay-in. Ben Johnson really heating up. Then, the th then there's the Turner Bertrand physical defense re defensive rebound. Then we got Asher Endorf, the drive in, just nice, easy. That's fundamentals right there. Then you have the skip pass over to Lee that <laughs> went in. We're yeah. still shocked about it at this point. Then you got the deep Ben Johnson three. Again, when he gets hot beyond the arc, I mean, just look out. As the Kearney High Bearcats lead the Lincoln East Spartans 35 to 24. Halftime now, you're watching the Bearcats Sports Network and our Dance Cats, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank.
Hello and welcome back to the Bearcat Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Hewitt calling a great first game at play-by-play. -play. Anything you're noticing? Um, I think it's just been great fast-paced basketball from both sides, really. We've seen Lincoln East push the pace on offense, and we've seen the Bearcats have some struggles early with turnovers, trying to go a little too fast, but we've really seen them, especially that last two minutes, just lock in, go quick, look like the Bearcats we know and love. The Bearcats, once they slowed down their offense, they started making buckets. But another thing, let's talk about Carter Mick for Lincoln East. He's been playing great basketball. I mean, really trying to put his team on his back, getting on defense, getting good boards, and getting inside too. He's kind of doing it all for the Spartans. Oh, 100%. Once again, he is averaging 19.2, leading scorer. Another thing that I was looking over the roster sheet here at halftime, Lincoln East, there are seven seniors. Yeah, a lot of experience on this Lincoln East squad. And they've really been rotating in quite a few players. Kept me on my toes for sure. But yeah, using that experience, using the knowledge from their players to keep them in this game. Down by 11, but feels like a lot closer. We're leading at different parts in the second quarter. Look for them to make a run here. It's been that back and forth battle. Lincoln East, they had the largest lead at seven. Now they find themselves down by 11 here at halftime. Yeah, just great. I don't, I don't even know what I was going to say. Great ability for the Bearcats to rally. They've seen it all season. And just circling back to this 35-24. This is a low-scoring game, but Lincoln East, they are making their presence known on defense. They have held the Bearcats. First quarter, they held them to 14 points. Yeah, a really low total. Not close to their 70 a game that they normally average. So it's the defense of Lincoln East that is making their point known. Yeah, just that's how they want to win the games, though. Yeah, and again, normally we see East play a lot slower than they have been, and they dominate on the defensive floor, trying to win those brutal games in the trenches instead of trying to get into a shootout. And if I'm gonna be completely honest. The Bearcats are one of the last teams I would want to get in a shootout with, with players like Ben Johnson and Jacob Weber, who can hit the three so well and such at such a fast pace. Oh, 100%. Now, coming back from halftime, let's see what head coach Jeff Campbell and head coach Drake Bronick have talked to their squads, what they might have made changes for at halftime, what they might have accounted for. One thing I will say, we have not seen a, a full court trap by the Bearcats. Yeah, they just really haven't been able to do it. it the game's been going so fast, they, they kind of have gotten out of system a lot, especially with some of their scoring just coming from unconventional buckets, uh, different from what they're used to seeing. As we are missing the full court trap, that trap that is a common occurrence for the Bearcats. I don't know what is going on in the mind of Drake Peronic, but it seems to be working as they find themselves up 11 on Lincoln East as Hewitt kick it off for the second half. As we get it started here, Lee driving to the corner, Johnson from the corner, the other corner, the far corner, and Johnson drills the three from the corner. Bearcats starting out hot to start the second half. Veronic getting the team fired up out of halftime here as the Spartans look to drive inside, and that's Mick scoring two there in the up and under as Johnson gets it over to Endorf. Endorf to Straka, starters on the floor for the Bearcats, gets it to Weber. Weber catch and shoot three. That one looked like it got tipped. It did indeed. Great defense there by the Spartans. Oh, and a miscommunication. He had him open. Lindquist was in the paint and probably had a free bucket there but just missed him there on the pass. Shout out to Kyler front row in our bleachers. He caught that pass. Good heads up play as Lee looks to drive, kicks it inside to Endorf. Endorf draws contact, no foul, but makes the bucket. Great play there by Endorf. As the Spartans look to bring it down now, it's gonna be Johnson. Johnson over to, to Weatherholt, over to Lindquist. 
Lindquist to Mick. Trying to get this Lincoln East offense in system. Yeah, this lo looked a little out of system as Mick pulls a three. Bang! In Ben Johnson's face, a setback three. Carter, Mick, great play, doing it all here early. Doing it all for the Spartans. He's got 17 of their 29 points. If my math oh. is correct, that's 19, or that's uh, above 50%. Yeah, as that spun around the hoop for so long as Carter Mick pulls another three in and out. And that is gonna be Johnson up and under there on the offensive board, getting two for the Spartans. Cuts the lead to nine. Johnson inside drive, no good on the finger roll. Johnson on the floor. Johnson is not happy, just a little too strong off the back iron. As they get it over to Lindquist, Lindquist pulls a three, or Weatherholt, excuse me, and that's gonna be off the shot clock. And out of bounds, 547 down here in third quarter here in Kearney. Spartans find themselves down by nine. Again, both quick playing, uh, quick pace of play hasn't changed from the first half as Lee brings it down now for the Bearcats. Over the timeline, gets it over to Straka. Straka from the corner, bang! Colt Straka for three. Even when Ben Johnson, Jacob Weber, Asher Andoff, they're not shooting the ball, you still have Carter Lee, Colt Straka, Ian Piper that can easily take charge of this game. Again, not a team you want to get into a shootout with. As getting back to the action, we have a timeout. As we have a replay on the board, that three ball by struck a high arc. But you know, whatever works to get it up and over the defender. As your Kearney High Bearcats lead the Lincoln East Spartans 43 to 31. You're watching the Bearcat Sports Network, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. back to action here at Kearney as Mick looks to inbound the ball. Spartans trying to find a thing. Mick pulls a three. And it's gonna be rebounded by Johnson over to Straka. Straka pushing pace to Lee. Lee to Johnson, deep three. Whoa, that was from the volleyball line. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Ben Johnson, he's such a good shooter, he can shoot it from anywhere. As Piper, great defense there, able to knock it out of bounds. And Ben has the range, and this place, you know, is gonna erupt had he made that. Oh, 100%. That would have been crazy. As Weber checks into the game now. Mick to inbound it to Johnson. Johnson over to Barton. East trying to find an opening, maybe that drive and kick out as they get it over to Barton inside, over to Dak, and Dak up and under, gets his own rebound and puts it up and in. Jang Dak, great play there under the basket. As almost steals it away, knocks it out of bounds. It's gonna remain Bearcat basketball. 427 remaining in this third quarter, 30 to shoot for the Bearcats, Straka running the point guard now. He gets stopped, over to Piper, Piper to Lee, looking for an opening, gets to the dribble drive, kicks it back out to Straka in the corner, and that one is off the mark. Rebounded by the Spartans, Dak inside, over Piper, and off the glass. Great play by Jang Dak, elevating and getting the bucket for two. As Bearcats looking to go fast here, Endorf on the drive, kicks it out to Lee. Lee drives over, back over to Endorf. Endorf, good from up and under. What a pass by Carter Lee to find Asher Endorf. There will be a timeout taken by, by the, no, it will be the Bearcats' first timeout as the Carney High Bearcats 
Lead 45 to 35 is on your screen. That nice little pass from Carter Lee to Asher Endor. As you're watching the Bearcats Sports Network, brought to you by this, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. back here on the Bearcat Sports Network, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank, as the Spartans look to inbound the ball out of the timeout. Carter Lee showing pre pressure out of the timeout. Bearcats, they switched to a man-to-man -man defense. Last timeout, they went to a 2-3 zone, and it seemed to be working nicely. Uh, it definitely did, as Jang Dak pulls the three inside. Yeah, this defense for the Bearcats, been playing Really good ball. A lot of offensive rebounds here on this possession, though. I was about to say, not a lot, of, not a whole lot of offensive rebounds for the Spartans in this half, but on that possession, yes. As that ball is going to be tipped out of bounds and will Second remain third. Bearcat basketball. Excuse me. It will be, yeah, Bearcat basketball. Lead to inbound. Over to Johnson. Johnson elevates for two. Great play under the basket. 47-35, Bearcats. As the Spartans looking to find something on offense. They haven't really quite gotten into a rhythm. We see a replay of that basket by Johnson. Dak kicks it out to Barton. Barton to Mick. Mick on the dribble drive, and he gets it and draws the foul. That foul will be on. I believe it's on Johnson. It is on Ben Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. Talk about Ben Johnson, though. He's started in like a low gear. He's found a whole nother level. He went scoreless in the first quarter. And now he's Carney High's leading scorer with 16. And we still have a whole nother quarter to play. Yeah, and again, it's not something you wanted to see from Lincoln East. You had him shut down early, and he has just fired right back up, just revitalizing this Bearcat offense. As that free throw is up and good by Carter Mick. Carter Mick having a career night for the Spartans. He's already beaten his average as that three ball is up and no good. Yeah, Mick. Doing it all for the Spartans right now as he looks to dribble drive. And they're going to call a travel. That's going to be a turnover on the Spartans. Kind of out of system there. Spartans trying to push the pace. Lead down to nine now as the Spartans just look to close the gap. Johnson from the mid range, spinning, kicks it out to Lee. Lead to Weber in the corner to the near side. Endor to Johnson. Johnson looking great defense by the Spartans right now. Johnson trying to find an opening. Gets it to Straka. Straka back over to Johnson. 10 to shoot now. Endor drives it in. Kicks it over to Straka. Straka loses the ball. Weber inside. And he's going to draw a foul. And he's going to go to the line shooting two. Great use of the shot clock there. All the way down to three seconds. And Weber able to draw a foul and get himself two free shots at the free throw line. That is a good use of the time as they, as Carney now with a 10 point lead, they want to try and tick off as much time as possible. Try not to let Lincoln East get back into this game because Lincoln East, they've gone on some runs. We have seen them go on some runs and we've had, we've seen them extend leads too. Just want to keep them at bay right now as Weber knocks home the second. Yeah, they, Lincoln East, they started the game with a 13 to five run. That's seven points difference as it is almost stolen away by Asher Endorf. But that will be a pushing foul on Endorf. That will be his, it's gonna be his third th foul. It's gonna be his third as Piper will check in for Endorf, trying to avoid him from foul trouble. 
Veronica does not look too happy, though. Does Veronica ever look happy? <laughs> not while he's not while he's coaching. Yeah, I, I've seen him happy a few times, but that is a very rare thing. They're all business for Veronica's Bearcats as we head back to the action now. And that's going to be a foul, I believe, on Straka. Yep. Straka. And it will be on the floor. Spartans to inbound under the basket. Spartans have just looked, again, a little bit out of system on the offensive end of the floor. Third foul of the game for the Bearcats, though, in this quarter. They will, fouls will reset. As Johnson gets it over to Weber. Weber pulls a three. Bang! Jacob Weber for three. Coming back to Veronic. Business for the Bearcats. That we need to put that on a t-shirt. Like all he, business. After that, Larry, Jacob Weber just shot it from a good distance from behind the three-point line. And Veronic doesn't even smile. He's just like, okay, get back on defense, and he calls a play. And it's the kind of demeanor that Veronic brings to his kind of teams. I mean, they're serious, they're ready to play, always locked in and ready for a good game. As we see now, the East Spartans trying to respond to that Weber three, the mid range not gonna fall. And a physical rebound by Straka. And that's gonna be Weatherholt uh, called on the foul. Forty-seven seconds to uh, play in this third quarter as Johnson looks to inbound to Lee. Lee bringing it up the court now for the Bearcats. And tried to get it to Weber, bounced off the leg of an East defender, and Weber has it stolen away by East. East looking to push pace. Slowing it down now, East kicks it through the corner, trying to find the three. Drives inside, and that's gonna be another travel. East, another turnover. Second travel this quarter. Now Bearcats with a 14 point lead, largest lead of the night. Shot clock has gone dark. 20 seconds now. Look for the Bearcats to maximize this opportunity going into the fourth quarter. Trying to, ex trying to extend that lead. I was kind of hoping for a half-court buzzer beater, but you know it'll do. As that is a that is a well drawn up play by the Bearcats. Absolute dime there to Johnson, and that will do it. We're gonna go to the fourth quarter. Bearcats 54, Spartans 38. As we will take a break here. You are watching the Bearcat Sports Network, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Welcome back for some fourth quarter action on the Bearcat Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Asher, what did you see in that third quarter? I saw two completely different strategies. Carney High Bearcats, huck it up from three, and it goes in. Lincoln East Spartans, get it inside the post and they are doing that well. They don't shoot a lot of threes. The only person that has been able to consistently make threes tonight in this contest is Carter Mick, and he has 20 of their points. Yeah, the leading scorer, and he has been that dominant player for the Spartans all season long as the Spartans look to inbound the ball now. 
Barton back, drives in the lane, and defended by Weber, but that's gonna be a foul called, and it will send Dak to the line. That's gonna be the Bearcats' first team foul early in this fourth quarter, Dak shooting two. Dak has four points on the night, make that five, two real tough inside layups, took a lot of contact. Yeah, Dak hasn't really gotten going, didn't get going early in the game, but kind of turned it on towards the end of that third quarter as he drills the second to cut the lead to 14. Lee now with the ball, gets it to Johnson. Johnson to Straka, Straka to Lee, back to Straka. Straka looks, oh. lobs it up for Endorf, Endorf inside, and that's good for two. Endorf getting it done here in the paint. Did you see how Straka almost made that? It hit the bottom of the rim. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? A second accident will make. Oh, 100%. That would be kind of funny. As Mick was driving inside, not quite able to get it done, but he's going to draw a foul well, and head to the line. And that foul is going to be on Straka, his second. Mick's going to shoot two now. And he... Off the mark on the first. Bearcats lead 56 to 47, 17 left. Lincoln East riding on Carter Mick's back right now. As he drills the second. Endorf now gets it over to Weber. Weber catch and shoot. Off the mark. Rebounded by the Spartans. Spartans. Double team. Kicks it inside. Open look for three, and he's got it. Connor Johnson for three. Had the open look. And we see a full court pressure now from the Spartans as they get a turnover. Brings it inside, and that's going to be a draw, a foul drawn as Johnson takes out. Oh, looks like Sam Lewis on the is. camera right there. Camera people on both sides of the floor. Will Davis on the right, Sam Lewis on the left as that will be a timeout on the floor. That is one thing the Bearcats did not expect is a full court press, but they do lead by 12. Welcome back to the Bearcat Sports Network, brought to you by Pinnacle Bank, as we get set to have some more fourth quarter action here for you guys tonight. 6.47 left in the game, as the Bearcats lead the Spartans of Lincoln East, 56 to 44. As we have a real barn burner here in Kearney, 12 point lead. Bearcats started slow, picked it up. Now, the Spartans, they are starting to heat up. Going on a little bit of a run of their own there at the start of the fourth quarter. Getting some free throws, getting to the line. Slowing that game down as Mick connects on the first. That's gonna cut the lead to 11. Didn't he already shoot one? He shot one on the last possession. I thought he shot one and they took a timeout. He's been getting to the line. We have three team fouls. I'm not a good stats person. <laughs> I know. He's getting to the line a lot in this fourth quarter, confusing us. 10 point game, mostly me. <laughs> As Straka throws that one away, another turnover by the Bearcats. Spartans looking to push pace. They slow it down again. This trap that the Spartans have shown here at the start of the fourth quarter. It's working and it's working very well. They have gotten three steals already and we're only two minutes in as that fadeaway is up and no good. Rebounded by Straka. Yeah, that defense for the Spartans is causing some problems now for the Bearcats. 
looking, Bearcats now looking for something on offense as Lee has it at the top of the key. Gives it to Johnson, Johnson to Weber in the corner, and Weber from the corner, three pointer, Jacob Weber. That is what the Bearcats needed. They needed to try and get their wheels rolling here in the fourth quarter. As that shot is off the mark for Mick. Carter Lee now brings it up the court for the Bearcats. Lee to Endorf. Endorf circles back around, gets it back to Lee. Almost a kick ball. Yeah, Lee slowing the offense down, trying to use all of that clock as they get it to Weber now. Weber double teamed, and it's gonna be East ball. They say great defense there by the Spartans on that possession, not to let the Bearcats use up too much clock. Down 13, you need to maximize your possessions here if you're East. And they need to be aggressive. They are being real aggressive right now on the defensive end, and it is paying off. They are doing the full court trap. They're trapping at half court. They're diving for every loose ball. Doing it all on the defensive end of the floor as they're gonna call a foul before the shot. It's gonna be Straka's third foul. As the Bearcats, they're starting to get into a little bit of foul trouble. Oh. Five starters have either two or three fouls. But the big thing for East on that foul is that got the Bearcats to four fouls. It's free throws the rest of the way for the Spartans. I still miss the one and ones, but you know, at five fouls, I'll take the double bonus. Yeah, definitely a rule change as we have a scramble for the ball right there. Jump ball between Johnson and Weatherholt. And it's gonna be Carney High basketball as trying to sweep up the floor a little bit here. We need one of those guys with the broom to come out. Just I don't think we have that in our budget. Just need one more person on the payroll. I mean, I'll gladly go down there right now and do it. Yeah. You can commentate the game by yourself. So you go sweep up the floor, Ashton. Do we, got a, do we have a broom on hand, a mop? As <laughs> Lee will take it back over the timeline for the Bearcats. Lee to Straka, Straka to Johnson, guarded by Dak, and Dak's gonna get called for the foul. That's his second foul, and that puts the Bearcats in the bonus. No, it doesn't. JK. <laughs> yeah, clean quarter by the Spartans up until that point. That's their first team foul. I don't know how to read the scoreboard. <laughs> as Johnson on the drive, and that's gonna be another foul on Dak. That's gonna be his third. And that will send Johnson to the line, looking to extend this Bearcat lead. Two quick fouls on Dak. Yeah, uh, just as I said, a clean quarter by the Spartans. Two fouls on this possession as Johnson knocks home the first. Extending the lead 60 to 46, 442 remaining. <laughs> As the second one is up and good for Ben Johnson. Indeed, as the Spartans looking to make something happen. <laughs> East kicks it back out, puts up the three, and that's the other Johnson, Connor Johnson for three. And that's gonna be a timeout on the floor 61 to 49, you're watching the Bearcat Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Hello and welcome back to the Bearcats Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank. Bearcats find themselves in a 12 point game, 61-49 against Lincoln East Spartans. The Bearcats looking to hang on to this lead. Yeah, 440, or 424, excuse me, left in this game. 
look for the Bearcats to maximize these possessions, take long, a uh, long time to shoot the ball, and we'll see if East wants to change up their game plan here a little bit, try to go a little bit faster. They had some success when they were getting to the, the free throw line, so we'll see what Coach Campbell wants to do with them. And with 424 left in the game, I don't think the Cats are gonna win by 30, so no free canes for all, but we will take it. No canes and no poster either as a scramble for the ball and the East Spartans turn up with it. Another turnover by the Bearcats as East looking to drive in, gets it over and up and under for Weatherholt. He's got 11 as Johnson brings it back down the court. Johnson to Endorf, Endorf to Lee, as there it is. We see him slowing that game down. Gets it over to Piper. Piper back to Lee. Lee hands it off to Johnson. Johnson looking, driving, just trying to methodically work through the defense, and that's gonna be a foul called on the Spartans. That's their third team foul. So they only have one more foul to give. As it will be Piper to inbound for the Bearcats. He inbounds it to Lee. Shot clock does reset. It does, 3.30 remaining in the game, 28 to shoot. As Straka drives inside and he lays it in for two. Me and Hugh, we're talking about this at the break though. Lincoln East. They are making baskets to stay in this game with 3:14 left. Yep, and they're gonna get to the they're gonna get to the line here. Yeah, they they won't go away. This Spartan crew has been fighting tooth and nail to hang in this one, but with the lead four, with the lead uh, 12 now. Excuse me. They find themselves down by 12. Largest deficit of the night was 16, and they pulled that within five. Yeah, and the Spartans, again, they they haven't gone away, and they've been getting to the line a lot more this quarter. I think that's what they wanted to do earlier in the game. It just wasn't going. Some of those fouls, some of those uh, up and unders weren't quite going their way as Mick knocks home his second to push the lead, or to cut the lead to 11, excuse me. 24 on the night for Carter Mick. He has the same amount of points as his jersey number. That's kind of cool. A little bit cool, yeah as Spartans driving inside, rejected by Johnson. Wow. And I think that was a little bit of a frustration foul by Quinn Weatherholt. We see a replay of that rejection there on the video board as Piper inbounds it to Endorf. And Lincoln East, they want the ball back. Find themselves down by 11. They need to get across the timeline. Carter Mick forces a turnover. Sure. Somehow get, somehow has eyes in the back of his head to grab that ball. And Lincoln East will reset with a 30 second shot clock, but they will take a timeout. That was great court awareness to uh, retain possession there by Mick. Saw it just really keeping a, a good eye on the ball. And again, uh, that full court press We've seen it, they, they've been able to force some turnovers, find some cracks in this Bearcat offense. Oh, 100%. <laughs> You're talking to me and I didn't even have my mic down. But 100%, and Lincoln East, they want the ball back, find themselves down by 11. You're gonna expect a full court trap the rest of this game. And we still have two minutes 40 left to play. Plenty of time if you're, if you're East. You don't need to rush shots. The biggest thing I, I always see, and especially in high school and college too, you want to maximize your possessions here. Be efficient with the basketball, get down, score. That's all you're doing. You don't need the three. You just need either free throws, a layup, just a high percentage shot. I mean, 240 is an eternity on this clock. And we've seen leads go really quickly. If you want to think about it though, 240, with a 35 second shot clock. If my math is correct, that's five possessions if you use the entirety of the shot clock. It really, yeah. If you aren't efficient, like, and if you're Carney High and you wanna use that shot clock, 
you could be a couple possessions away from winning this game. If I was the Bearcats, get across that 10 second timeline, hold the ball till there's 10 seconds on the shot clock, then run a play. Yeah, and we'll see if Baronic has told his crew that as East lo launches a deep three, rebounded by Dak inside for two. The and lead is now nine. Cuts it to single digits. Lee struggling to get across the timeline. Three Florida seconds dunk. left on the timeline. And that's gonna be a foul. Lee taking some contact. That and will be a foul on Luke Larson as Larson. he took a shot to the head. Took a shot there by Lee, a football player. He is currently bleeding, so we will turn our cameras away. Yeah, it looked like he just took a shot to the face there. Took a shot. Looks like he's holding his mouth. I'm not for sure. We will have our trainers attend to him, Brian Haas. I love Brian Haas. He is an awesome athletic trainer. Athletic trainer, teacher. He does it all here at Kearney High. A man of many talents as that is 2.11 left on the clock. But if we look at fouls, both teams will go to the line. Any more fouls, there is a double bonus. And that's big for both teams. I mean, it takes, it takes away, uh, it takes away, it takes away some of the ability for uh, East to give up fouls, and it, but it also helps East. Any any type of foul, the Bearcats are going to have to play really clean basketball. They're only up by nine. A foul is going to send East to the line and it's gonna stop the clock. So if I'm Baronic, I'm definitely telling my crew, be smart on defense, no cheap fouls. And looking at our scoreboard, Cold Straka sitting on four fouls right now. That is a very dangerous place to be with 2.11 left and both teams in the double bonus. Yeah, as we see, he's standing at the scoring table right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they bring him in for offense and they summon back out for defense. He is a good defender though at times. Uh, we have Piper in the game right now for the Bearcats. Piper, I think he's gonna get a lot of minutes here in these last 2.11 left. Because with Straka sitting on four, that is dangerous. Cause one just real cheap foul and you're sitting on the bench for the rest of the game. Yeah, and some of the other guys too, I mean, you have Endorf with three. You're not the person you want to foul. You not the person you want to get caught fouling. Endorf, a great defender. He adds size to the roster. I mean, you got to be smart here if you're the Bearcats. Play. And and you got to think, with the game within nine, you want to have the ball in the hands of your best free throw shooters, which would be Carter Lee, Jacob Weber, and Ben Johnson. All great free throw shooters. And Asher Asher Endorf. He was a great free throw shooter this year. Struggled a little, or last year. Struggled a little bit from the line this year. But again, if he's shooting, if he's the one at the line to, to ice the game at, um, at the end of the game, I mean, I'd be happy with him shooting free throws. As we are still waiting for the resumption of play, there was a little bit of blood on the court. Have to clean that up. But our amazing athletic training staff, Brian Haas, uh, Bryce, the and entire crew. athletic training staff, I guess you could say. I don't know all the names. But just an incredible crew here at Kearney High School. Really fortunate to have the trainers that we do. As we are getting ready for the resume in play, Carter Lee to shoot free throws. Every Both teams are in the double bonus. A lot of free throws to, still to shoot here. 2-11 left. As Lee knocks home the first to extend the lead to 10. 2-11 here remaining. As Bearcats subbed Weber out and brought in Straka. Johnson with the offensive rebound after the Carter Lee miss and his shot's gonna come up short and rebounded by East. East looking around the three-point arc right now, trying to get someone open. East going with a shorter lineup now because they, they have their predominant three-point shooters out there right now. They have Carter Mick, they have um, Connor Johnson. Those are the shooters that you're going to look for from behind the three-point arc. Yeah, and Quinn Weatherholt, we've seen him hit knock down a few, a few threes as well. So 
Look for East to start shooting threes. They're gonna have to speed up their play a little bit and that's gonna be a foul. And it's gonna send Endorf to the line with 1.49 remaining. It's almost like we knew it was gonna happen when we said Endorf shooting free throws. We're gonna, we're gonna test his free throw shooting. How good is he from the charity stripe? I hope he knocks these down. He's got it. As on our big board, I'm amazed. We have a great camera shot of Asher Endorf on our board. You can't see that, but we can. And that first one is up and good. Great shot there by Endorf. That pushes yeah. the lead to 11. Cashing in on free throws. It pays dividends coming down the stretch here as Endorf drills the second. Again, a great free throw shooter. As with the Lincoln East Spartans are down by 12. If they come, ha if they can somehow get back into this game, a thing to mention is they only have one timeout left with 150 to play. Yep, as Straka subs back into the game now. East looking to find something on offense. As they put up a three, and that one's off the mark, rebounded by Endorf. Endorf to Lee. Lee trying to evade the trap, and they're gonna call him for a foul. That foul is on number five, Connor Johnson. That is his third foul. Now this is where we start to wonder. Lincoln East Spartans. They have one player in four fouls and two in three. They're getting into a little bit of foul trouble. Yeah, you gotta be smart of who you foul as Lee is off the mark on the first. You don't want your star players fouling. And speak of star players, uh, I think this is worth mentioning. Carter Mick, zero fouls this entire game. And 24 points. That is, that is impressive. As Lee knocks it home, sending the lead to 14. 13. 13, excuse me. We are high schoolers. We're not that good at math, as that is almost up and in. Rebounded by Carter Mick. And that is Leakin East's final timeout. We'll stay right here. 121 left in the game. As, yeah, Mick just able to get up and under there. Cut the lead down a little bit here. They're, again, they just haven't been able to overcome that little flurry the Bearcats had uh, right before the half. I mean, they've been trading buckets back and forth, 67-56, and I mean, the lead was only a few going into halftime, but again, the buzzer beater, the accidental three-pointer, those have been the difference. Oh, 100%, and just the, the change in defense for the Bearcats. They've changed from a 2-3 zone, they had a 3-2 zone at one point when Lincoln East got hot from behind the three-point line. They've got done man-to-man, -man, and then they even went to a 1-3-1, one, one, which is not very common in Class A basketball. Yeah, you haven't really seen it, and they've really been just throwing a bunch of just mix, uh, mix and matching defenses, trying to figure out what's gonna work to stop this Lincoln East, uh, this Lincoln East squad from going on a run, and they really have done a good job of that throughout this second half. But Lincoln East, they do find themselves down by 11, 121 left. And you're gonna expect a foul from Lincoln East here and a foul quickly. As Johnson will inbound it to Endorf. And swiping at the ball, no foul called. Endorf gets it over to Lee, Lee back to Johnson. Johnson on the drive. And they're finally gonna call him for the ball. They were swiping at the ball. And that's gonna send Johnson to the line. That did tick 11 seconds off of the clock and you're sending Ben Johnson, a very dangerous man on the basketball court, to the line to shoot two. As Johnson is short on the first, not happy with himself. He likes to make free throws. They are free after all and he's had way tougher buckets here in this game. Yeah. Great free throw shooter, uncommon to see him miss. As East brings it up, Mick gets it over to Weatherholt. Inside to Dak, and it's tipped away. Weber with the rebound. Weber driving it up the court. No foul by the Spartans. Gets it over to Johnson. Johnson to drive, and he's got a bucket. I, that, just, that just completed the game right there. This game, 14 point lead, hard to come back for. As the East gets a bucket there, but I think it may be a little too, 
a little or too little too late, excuse me. As, as the shot clock will go off as that is up and in by Weber. Weber. And Weber extends the lead now, 72-58 with 25 seconds remaining. As there's gonna be a foul called. That is a foul on Colt Straka. He just fouled out of the game. That is his fifth. As Straka will go to the bench, Piper will sub in. And it's gonna send Carter Mick to the line to add to his total 26 points, a valiant effort, but just falling a little short here tonight. As he is unable to connect on the first. As with 21 seconds left, I don't think Lincoln East is gonna foul after this. I think they're just gonna let it ride and we'll let the see. Bearcats dribble it out. No, they might not want to, Weber. Weber, yeah, they're gonna call him for a foul there. Weber's gonna go ahead to the free throw line, shoot two more as this game is just about over. One thing I have not seen though, Jacob Weber Duncan. He can shoot the three ball, he can shoot a circus shot. I have not seen him dunk it, and I he's tall. I've seen him dunk in pregame. I have not seen him dunk in a game yet. I think he wanted to. If they were just going to let him, I think he might have done a little one-hand Michael Jordan slam. That would have been the cherry on top as the Bearcats extend their lead. 74-58. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebounded by Johnson. And this will just about do it. As the Spartans still fighting for the ball. Playing till the final whistle. That is very good. Almost made the half court buzzer beater, but the Bearcats, they're gonna move to eight and three on the year. Three tough losses to West Side, uh, Miller North, and Lincoln Southeast. But Lincoln East, they will move to four and six on the year as we have a little replay package of the entirety of the game. As there's that deep ball from Ben Johnson. We've seen him shoot from deep a couple of times tonight. Pulling up from as far as the volleyball line as we see Weber hit a three two. The rejection from Ben Johnson started slow, picked it up throughout the game as I think a lot of the fans knew he would. Yeah, as indeed. As that rebound, physical rebound by Turner Bertrand, the high arcing three ball by Colt Straka. The and one by Johnson. Then the catch and shoot by Weber. That's money. Then the low arcing shot of Carter Lee. Then you got the the kick out to uh, our, uh, the layup for Asher Endorf. Then kick out and then here's the rejection by Asher Endorf, dominating the defensive side of the game tonight. Is that there? That little three ball pass by Carter Lee. The accidental, probably the highlight of the night. And then the, the buzzer beater. The buzzer beater. For <laughs> ben Johnson, as. Your Kearney High Bearcats win 74-58. Not quite a 30-win dub, so we don't get canes, but you know, a win is a win. A win is a win for sure, as the Bearcats will move again, as you said, eight, to eight and three. Again, trying to rack up some wins here before their tough stretch that include Bellevue West and Pius and that Westview game, Omaha Westview, a tough opponent that they were gonna have to play on Saturday has now gotten moved back into a tough stretch of games. Oh, 100%, and then the Bearcats, they started real slow in tonight's game. I think that was just a little bit of the wait because the postponement of the game, just, it was just a really tough way to start the game tonight. Again, high anticipation for a matchup like this against a conference opponent and then it gets postponed. You're a little bit tired from the snow days. I know I am still trying to recover. I got <laughs> caught up on some sleep, but again, school just, it's, it's transitioning back. And we're still transitioning back here from break, but yeah, definitely kind of played a little sloppy in the first quarters, but able to wake up. And now the Bearcats, they have a run of games here next week, January 26th here at Lincoln, uh, here against Lincoln North Star. I believe that is our pink out theme for our rowdy section. And then 
I don't want to say this, but at halftime, I am dancing because it is the senior boys dance, but that is always a positive. It's a fun night. And then on the Saturday, number one, Bell West comes to town. Yeah, that is going to be a electric matchup. I mean, Bellevue West has been playing great basketball all season long. So look for them to make a statement here, but look for the Bearcats to try to hang in there and maybe pull out an upset. That would be a fun upset. Nebraska upset Purdue, storm the court. We upset Bell West, maybe we storm the court. But that will do it here in Kearney. Your Kearney High Bearcats win 76 to 58. I'm Asher. I'm Hewitt. And you're watching the Bearcats Sports Network brought to you by Pinnacle Bank.